This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in Eastern Henrico. More specifically, I'm in Sandston. And today, we're going to look at a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This ranch-style home may look familiar. If you are a longtime viewer, you've seen this one before. This home was videoed as a HUD home. It was in really rough condition. Speaking of rough condition, directly across the street, there was actually a mobile home that was also in rough condition. Now we have two new construction homes. This block is looking really good as a result. The property we're gonna look at today is gonna be nicknamed my one percenter. And the following reason, uh, less than 1% of the homes that I cover that are properties in need of work, I'm actually able to go back and show you the after. And we're of course gonna be able to show you the after results here on this one. I will link the original video down below in the description section. So if you were not able to see that before, you'll be able to look at that. I, actually, I suggest going and looking at that one first, uh, putting this uh, on pause, looking at that one, and then coming back and looking at the final project. It'll probably make a little bit more sense uh, to see where it came from. We, of course, have a gorgeous lake here. This is not typical for Henrico County. Uh, we have less than 1% of the homes in the county are actually waterfront property. I have brought you two here in the past 10 days. So very unusual. Uh, we can see here in the exterior, uh, we've got a good looking uh, exterior, new roof, a new heating and air, nice new deck. Uh, we are situated on 7.4 acres. So we've got a good amount of land here. Uh, so that is very unusual, especially at this price point. Uh, the other reason this home is extremely unusual is because the seller is offering it with seller financing. So very unusual. Less than one half of 1% of homes today are offered with seller financing. Now, that does not mean that the seller is going to finance this house for anybody that comes along. They are going to, of course, look at income, debt, and credit and figure out whether it makes sense for them. However, there is a huge segment of the population that would be a good candidate for owner financing. Let me explain. Right now in the traditional lending industry, they are very stringent on requirements. And some of those requirements make absolutely no sense. Uh, the easiest way for me to describe it is to give you a scenario. Let's say you have a truck driver, has a CDL. They've been driving the trucks for 20 years and they right now make $85,000. They decide, hey, the market is really good for trucking. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna become an owner operator. I'm gonna own my own truck, I'm gonna lease it and I'm gonna drive for myself. I'm gonna be a business owner. No matter how much money that truck driver has in the bank, no matter what their credit score, they could have a 850 credit score a traditional lender is not going to lend them money to buy a house. Even though they make good money, the debt could be under control and credit could be excellent. They're not gonna lend them money for the following reason. They are now considered to be self-employed. The lenders are gonna want a two-year history for self-employment before they will lend that person, even though we know the CDL license is just like money in the bank today. If you have a CDL license, companies all over the country are clamoring for you because there's such a demand for drivers. That common sense has gone out the window with lenders. So unfortunately, they would not lend that truck driver. They would make him or her wait for two years before they would go ahead and give them a mortgage. However, if that truck driver had the ability to get owner financing, they'd come in with their down payment. A down payment would be required uh, by most individuals or companies doing seller financing. They would go ahead and close on the house. This is not a rent to own. This is not a lease purchase. This is actually you own the property. The only difference is that the seller is simply playing bank. So your monthly payments will go to the seller. When it's time for maintenance, you're covering it as a owner. You get the tax benefits of it. You get the appreciation. The only difference is that instead of uh, First National Bank being the note holder, uh, whatever company or individual sold you that home and financed it would be the note holder. So for all intents and purposes, it's the same thing as a regular finance transaction. Now, a lot of people will call me and they'll say, hey, Max, I'm interested in owner financing. And right now, we don't see anybody really doing that. Um, 
However, if you own rental property, if your uh, family has rental property, let's say you have a long-term tenant that's been really good, they pay their rent on time, but you're just tired of being a landlord. You don't like the maintenance, you just don't want to deal with the things that landlords have to deal with, you could then sell that property to that tenant, do the financing, and it's not difficult. The lawyer can handle the paperwork. It's, it's a pretty minimal expense. Uh, you actually get the, the buyer to pay for that closing cost, and now you hold the note for them. You receive payments, you get interest, and your interest is going to be stronger than what the uh, traditional lenders would charge. It would not be unfair in this market to charge somebody six, seven percent. Because remember, you are doing them a service that they can't do otherwise for whatever reason. It could be that employment that I just mentioned. Uh, it could be one of uh, many other reasons. So I just put that out there as a possibility uh, for some people. Also, when you think about it, if you sold that rental property, there's some people that will sell rental property or, or have cash and they'll have it in a CD or a savings account, which is the absolute, one of the absolute worst things you can do other than putting it under the mattress. The return that you get on that money is probably less than less than half a percent today. So your money is not doing anything for you. You're actually losing money when you factor in inflation. So why not put that money to work and actually hold a note or receive payments from someone as opposed to uh, receiving rent payments if that's not what you want to do. All right, we can see we are on the secondary bedroom wing. We just left the hall bath for it. Uh, this is a large ranch style home. Uh, we typically don't see them uh, this big uh, in uh, most parts of this county. Of course, we're now in our Eden kitchen. We've got space there uh, for your dinette. Stainless steel appliances. These are probably the original cabinets. They cleaned them up and painted them. Put in granite countertops. We do have a door going off here to the rear. Now, imagine I'm talking to my northerners right now. This home offered with seller financing, let's say you're not gonna retire for a couple of years, okay? You could buy this property, lock it down, get owner financing, and then come down when you're ready. Uh, in the meantime, you could of course um, put a short-term tenant in, you could just simply hold it uh, and, and pop down a, a couple times uh, a month if you wanted to. But imagine being here on this brand new deck, having a table here and eating breakfast, looking out over your own lake. This is powerful, under $450,000. I know you guys don't believe that this is true, but it really is. 10% down is what they're looking for. So $40,000 would get you in the door. Um, and remember, you wouldn't have a whole lot of lender costs because it's seller financing. So lenders will hit you up for points and a whole bunch of other things, appraisal and a bunch of, fees when they do traditional financing, a lot of that you wouldn't have to pay if you were doing seller financing. So you would save uh, to some extent there. And then of course, once you're eligible uh, or desire to go ahead and get your own financing, you can go ahead and refinance with a traditional lender and then uh, perhaps lower that interest rate, lower those monthly payments. But just to get in the door, uh, seller financing is an awesome option for uh, people that have the ability to do that. All right, that was our pantry. We just looked at our powder room. We're moving now into the family room. This is gonna be the uh, more informal space here. Once in the, again, a, a double doors there going off to that deck. This would be a popular property for entertaining. If you had friends that uh, love to hang out and, and come and see you, and it, it, just imagine how this would work if you had all of this space here with the deck back there, a nice open kitchen. Uh, I don't know if there's fish in that lake or not, but I imagine if you want to fish, you could stock it. You go to the, to the uh, pet store, get some goldfish, uh, put some goldfish in there. And then over time, the goldfish will probably grow or mutate or do whatever fish do. And then at some point you could probably fish and eat them. And then um, I'm sure that would be a, a much more healthy than some of the stuff you probably buy at the grocery store. You could raise your own fish right there. All right, we are now in the primary bedroom. This is going to be a walk-in closet. Uh, it's a little dark in there, but we've got about eight feet worth of closet space here. So good size. Uh, this is a primary with a very rare gas log fireplace. Imagine being here on a nice cold winter night 
in bed, you could hit the switch and then enjoy the flames dancing in your own gas log fireplace. Boy, that just, that sounds so romantic, I tell you, I, wow. All right, we've got really good size here. Another door here going off to the back, so if you wanted to pop out and get some air, you could do that uh, right there. So a lot of great potential here uh, in this primary. But we have an ensuite. I almost forgot about that. I gotta be careful about leaving, leaving rooms out. I did that on the last video. I had to go back and redo it. Uh, this is our ensuite bath. They did a good job here with this. We've got a nice size vanity there, wainscoting on the wall, uh, some nice detail uh, here to the left. A uh, nice big window, good natural light's gonna flow in here to this primary bath. And then we've got a stand up shower here to the right. All right, boy, I really like this property. This uh, just has so much potential for someone that maybe doesn't wanna deal with steps, but still wants a good amount of space and loves nature. If you love the tranquility uh, that this location would give you here, being out on a nice quiet street, uh, lakefront property, all at an extremely reasonable purchase price and owner financing on top of that, this house might be right for you. I'm really happy uh, to bring this one to you. This is a great alternative, uh, something out of the normal realm of what we typically see here in this area. And uh, I think somebody who will love to call this home. Max Williams, 804-402-7780. It can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Special thanks to Danae Dobler with the Lemus Group. She was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look, uh, bring this beautiful home to you. Y'all take care, be safe. Have a great day.